Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck, this one titled Sweet Secrets as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. It's a blue-red self-mill deck that tries to put a bunch of cards in the graveyard using cards like Sweet Oblivion, Merfolk Secret Keeper and Drowned Secrets to then eventually get uh, payoff cards, which include Narcomiba, which is a 1-1 flyer that we can essentially put in play for free if we happen to mill it, and then the full playset of Arclight Phoenix, a 3-2 flyer with haste that we can return from the graveyard to the battlefield at the beginning of combat if we've cast three or more instant and sorcery spells this turn. And of course the deck uh, contains lots of cheap instants and sorceries to easily get back Arclight Phoenix. And then we also have two copies of Ox of Agonas as a nice addition from Theros Beyond Death, which we can escape for just double red, exiling eight other cards from our graveyard, which is also not too difficult in this deck. And then when the Ox enters the battlefield, it escapes with a plus one plus one counter, and then we have to discard our hands and draw three cards. So another nice way to refuel once we've uh, used a bunch of resources trying to get back Arclight Phoenix from the graveyard. So let's take a look at the entire deck list. At one mana, got the full playset of Merfolk Secret Keeper, which can be an 0 blocker, as well as a way to put four cards from our library into our graveyard, also counting as a sorcery for our client Phoenix. So often what we want to do in this deck is kind of save up a bunch of these cheap mill effects to then on turn three or four, cast a whole bunch of them, and then hopefully mill a few copies of our client Phoenix and get them back right away, as we'll have cast the three required spells. Then we've got the full playset of Opt as a nice one mana cantrip that also makes it easy to cast three spells in the same turn for Arclight Phoenix. We've got the full playset of Unsummon, which is our main interaction in the deck. Can also use it to bounce a Merfolk Secret Keeper back to our hand so we can mill ourselves again with the adventure. Then we've got our Narcomy Boss, the full playset of Drowned Secrets, which lets us uh, put the top two cards of any library into a graveyard if we cast a blue spell, so we can use it to mill ourselves in the late game sometimes. If the game plan of killing the opponent with Arclight Phoenix doesn't work out, we can also switch to being a mill deck where we just mill the opponent out with Drowned Secrets, Secret Keepers and Sweet Oblivion. Then we also have four copies of a Radical Idea, which is a nice way for us to discard our client Phoenix if it's stuck in our hand, and still get it in the graveyard where we can reanimate it without having to actually spend mana casting it. Then we've got four copies of Sweet Oblivion as another mill card that we can use to mill ourselves, also has escape, so late in the game we can use our graveyard as a resource and cast a bunch of these escape cards like Sweet Oblivion and Ox of Agonas. And then we have four copies of Mission Briefing as well, which lets us first surveil two, and then we can choose an instant or sorcery card from our graveyard and cast that card this turn, but we also have to exile it. So Mission Briefing is another great way for us to cast three spells in the same turn to get back Arclight Phoenix, as we'll basically get to cast two cards for usually just three mana if we get back an Unsummon or an Opt using the Mission Briefing. And of course Surveil also helps put more cards in the graveyard. So if we happen to see a uh, Arclight Phoenix with Surveil, we can just put it in the graveyard. Then we've got our four copies of Arclight Phoenix, which is the centerpiece of the deck that we're hoping to mill over as much as possible. And then two copies of Ox of Agonas, which we can just cast for five mana, but also escape for just two, as we've covered already. And then taking a look at our mana base, we do need a ton of blue mana in this deck, especially if we want to cast Mission Briefing into Unsummon or Opt. So we do need a lot of blue, but then again we also need double red to eventually escape Ox of Angonas. So that makes building the mana base pretty tough, since we also want to play a low land count with how many cantrips we have available. So the mana base is not perfect, but it's uh, functional enough with 9 islands, 5 mountains, 4 steam vents, and 4 temple of epiphany. Don't really want fabled passage, even though it helps fill the graveyard for escape, just because we're usually only going to have 3 lands in play which uh, makes the passage come into play tapped. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the draw. And uh, yeah, this seems like a keeper. Whenever we have a Drowned Secrets in our opening hand, we are usually pretty happy. And I also like keeping my one mana spells until after I play the Secrets to kind of maximize the self mill. Uh, hopefully no Dovin's Vetoes. It's going to be Omen of the Sea instead. Opponent could have Teferi to bounce my secrets. It looks like Asper Control. Hmm. 
I got another one. I think I still hold on to my one mana spells. Yeah, it's probably going to take the second round secrets. So where do I want to start? I could go for Oblivion, Opt and Secret Keeper if we find a land, that is. So maybe I'll start there. Opt, Smill myself, see if we can find a land. And if we do, we can uh, go for it. Alright, I'll keep the mountain. And hope to find a couple... Copies of Arclight Phoenix or Narcomoeba. There's a Narcomoeba. Not a Narcomoeba. Eh, can we find Arclight Phoenix? Alright, two copies, not bad. Let's see if they have a sweeper here. If they're playing islands, they might not be playing Kaya's Wrath. But maybe Shadow the Sky. It's gonna be an Oath of Kaya on Phoenix. A radical idea. So I'm not quite able to get back the Phoenix here. Unless I draw into another land, which I could with mission briefing plus opts. Although the surveil is kind of wasted when we also want to mill ourselves with the Drowned Secrets. But I think it's worth it. Could also keep the mission briefing for maybe next turn in case we need to recover from a sweeper effect. So we'll cast Opts. Mill the opponents. All right, they are playing Kaya's Wrath. Cast Radical Idea. Get in for eight. I'll probably have a hard time getting back Phoenix next turn, since we only have two mana plays. Ooh, Dream Trawler. So I really need to draw an summon here to win the game on the spot. So I have two unsummons in the graveyard. So if I radical idea into mission briefings, that would also do it. So I think I'll start there. And then I can also discard the Ox and escape it. Which gives me more uh, draw steps towards unsummon. Draw the Phoenix, not the best. But I can discard it with the Ox. And I'll probably Scry here then. Bottom the Islands. Escape the Ox. And get rid of some useless cards. And perfect, there's unsummon. Tab Dream Trawler, attack for eight. Alright, beautiful. It's a nice demonstration of what our deck is capable of against some pretty serious interaction from our opponent. On to the next one.
All right, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Turn one temple, turn two secrets, turn three. Start working on discarding this phoenix with the radical idea. Sweet oblivion. I guess it's fine. Would like to find another one mana spell to make it easier to get back phoenix. Opponent on a black white enchantment deck. We also drew two mountains. It's maybe going to be difficult to cast three blue spells in the same turn here. All the glitters. Yeah, that's rough. Do have an unsummon, but they can protect with the Alsaid. Secret Keeper's nice. Alright, so this turn... What's my plan? Probably pass, cast Radical Idea. And maybe also unsummon, forcing them to use Alsaid. Another one. I guess I want to unsummon now, so they have to sag the one in play, which is one less damage. Sentinel's Eyes. Hit for six. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. And finding another unsummon's not good enough with a second Alsade. Narcomibus would be quite valuable as chum blockers. Could also just cast a Secret Keeper as an 0-4 blocker. But then, let's see, I guess next turn I'll have 5 mana, so I can cast Sweet Oblivion. I can mill with Secret Keeper and then still have 2 mana left over. So I guess instead of casting the Radical Idea this turn, I could cast it next turn. And for now just go mill with Secret Keeper, cast Secret Keeper as a blocker. And that should make it more difficult for them to kill me. Narcomibels is a nice hit too. And probably don't need Island anymore. I've got our three blue sources. Now our opponent is at 31, they gained a lot of life, so it's going to be difficult to actually kill them with Arclight Phoenix. But for now, not dying is the priority. Myers Grasp the Narcomiba, draw a card with Eidolon. Alright, so start with a radical idea, jump started discarding Phoenix. Finding a mix of Arclight Phoenix and Narcomiba would be nice to kind of diversify our colors for the protection of the Alsade. Just the two copies of Arclight Phoenix. So not particularly exciting here. Have to stay back. And an Arcan of Sun's Grace. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat. 
couple too many lifelinking creatures on the other side. Now milling the opponent could still be an option, but I just have the one copy of Drowned Secrets, so that's going to be tough too. How many Drowned Secrets do I have left in my deck? There's two in the graveyard, so only one left. I guess it's not impossible. Start by milling the opponents. Then I can cast a two mana ox and take it from there. Could also cast Narcomiba. I guess it's a blue blocker, so it kind of helps. And get rid of a bunch of lands for now. And drown secrets I also don't care about in the graveyard. Draw three fresh cards. Eh, mission briefing's good. Just play defense. And then I'll happily jump with Arclight Phoenix since we can get it back pretty easily thanks to mission briefing and our various escape cards and jumpstart cards. Opponent still has 38 cards in library, so it's still a pretty long road ahead of us. I think I might just chump the Eidolon and take three from the Arkan to keep as many differently colored permanents in play. Because if I double block Arkan, they could protect with the Alsaid and keep their Arkan in play. I can still cast a Secret Keeper as an 0-4 block or two. Yeah, let's try this. Suppose double blocking Eidolon with Ox and Phoenix would have been fine. Because I don't really care about losing the Ox all that much. Do I want to upkeep mission briefing? Doesn't seem super necessary. Another secret keeper. Can build the opponents. And then I want a mission briefing now. So we get double Phoenix back. Still milling my opponent here, I think. And go for an unsummon. Might force this issue on the Alsaid. Alright, that worked out. Sir opponent down to 34. And then I can still escape another Ox too. And now without the all set in play, I feel a lot safer. As we'll be able to block with our creatures. Opponent has 27 cards remaining. But now a double Drowned Secrets is going to speed that up significantly. And then I've got 9 cards left, so I do have to be careful with how I manage my uh, card draw. But I can start escaping Sweet Oblivions too. Or I can keep a mission briefing for a potential uh, unsummon. 
Soldiers pass. That way to Phoenix, sure. And in response to the Sentinel's eyes, I think it's worth it to mission briefing before they put an enchantment on Arkan, in case if Karmatra's blessing could also be relevant. And then happy to put that in the graveyard, and I guess Phoenix as well. Or do I want to draw the Phoenix? Because I do eventually run out of cards too. Let's draw the Phoenix. And then cast and summon. So our opponent's down to 15 cards. And we've got some pretty good defenses. So Sweet Oblivion mills for 8, essentially. Can only cast one of them, but then I can opt, which is another 4, and Radical Idea, which is another 4. So this should be that. Alright, let's uh, go for it. And our opponent packs it in. Alright, sweet. So we managed to get them with the alternate win condition of the deck, which is milling them out. And yeah, we kind of identified early that getting there with damage was going to be difficult against all those giant lifelinkers. But that's where the mill plan comes in handy. Alright, we're on the play. Got a double Drowned Secrets opener, so I'm down. Narcomiba not the best, but it still triggers Drowned Secrets just fine. And Round Secrets is also the reason why I prioritize having as many blue cards as possible, as opposed to also playing a card like Creeping Chill, which wouldn't uh, be great if it's stuck in hand. Put on with an Innkeeper, could be Team or Adventures. Team or Confirmed. And a Brazen Borrower to delay the Drowned Secrets. Still gonna wait on the Merfolk Secret Keeper until we play the second Drowned Secrets. Steam Vents is nice. So I can play Drowned Secrets. And then... I'm tempted to just play Narcomiba and then keep Secret Keeper as a one mana spell to hopefully get back Phoenix a turn after. And Narcomiba is not an instant or sorcery for Arclight Phoenix purposes. And discarding Ox of Agonos to a Radical Idea is also not bad here. Double Innkeeper. Not a ton of other action so far. They might have a Bone Crusher Giant in hand, but they decide to adventure the Lovestruck Beast instead. Yeah, let's start here. Right, there's a lance. So now we can go for it. Secret Keeper. Not 
Now we still haven't found any copies of Arclight Phoenix, despite milling half of our deck already. So yeah, sometimes the deck doesn't cooperate. Another Ox of Agonos. I guess I'll get in for one. So far, our self-milling hasn't really accomplished a whole lot, but can uh, cast a two-mana Ox of Agonos to draw some cards with. Another Secret Keeper. All right, let's try again. Mission Briefing can also find a 1-mana Opt or Unsummon. And see, yeah, I mean, eventually we'll mill our entire deck, so we're guaranteed to find Arclight Phoenix, right? Hopefully it's before we actually deck ourselves. We're reaching the bottom. And then... Yeah, I guess we'll put these in the graveyard still. And then get back... Probably unsummon for the Lovestruck Beast instead of Opts. And still mill myself. Six cards remaining in library. So there's still two copies of Arclight Phoenix in those bottom cards. Well, let's see if we can still get there. If we draw the Arclight Phoenix, we can also just hard cast it for four mana at this point. Fay of Wishes, just as a one for blocker. And they probably have another two mana interactive spell. So we can only count on getting in for 4 damage, unless we draw another Phoenix. Brazen Borrower can also block an Arclight Phoenix. Alright, that should do it. Cast Phoenix, attack with all. Opponent takes 7. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty weak hand. Don't mind mulliganing this. I guess this is a little better. And what do I put on the bottom? It might be mountain. And then the game plan is to probably just cast these opts early on, filling the graveyard to maybe set up an escaped Ox of Agonos. Which I can also discard with a, a radical idea. Since getting up to 5 mana here is going to be pretty tough. Alright, I'll definitely keep it drawing secrets though. But with only 1 blue mana it's going to be difficult to cast 3 spells in the same turn. That helps. So, can definitely just cast a Radical Idea. But not sure yet if I'm gonna cast Opt, since we might want to save that one. A Leaf Kindred, or a point on a blue-green ramp deck. That's fine. And drew another Drowned Secret, so now I'm definitely waiting. Might still want to cast Opt just to hit my land drops. I will still mill myself for 4, but then the Scry 1 is still good to go. 
a radical idea. I don't think I need... Alright, mountain not as good as islands, but I'll take it. So, next turn I could jumpstart radical idea, discard ox, cast ox, although then I'll end up discarding these as well. So we might take a different approach. It's gonna be a Risen Reef. Into maybe another Leafkin Druids. Nope, just a uh, Risen Reef. Narcomi, I don't mind discarding. So I've got an interesting decision here. Can definitely start with jumpstarting the radical idea and take it from there. Ideally, draw into a blue source here, so I can still cast an unsummon at least. Another mission briefing. Yeah, it feels kind of bad to discard my hand here, especially with double drowned secrets wanting me to cast more blue spells. But it's hard to leverage the mission briefings with only two islands. So I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I'll just cast an Arc Amoeba for now and wait a turn. Could also cast the mission briefing on my upkeep to use a surveil to hopefully find another blue source. But then I'll still be only casting two blue spells at most. And there's Nyssa. So the clock is ticking. Don't have much time with Nyssa in play. If my opponent has a Hydroid Crisis in hand, it's going to be difficult to get in enough damage. So upkeep, do I want to do anything? I don't think I do. So let's just take our draw step. Another Drown Secrets. Could almost mill my opponent out here instead with how many Drowned Secrets we have. I'm halfway through my own deck. Any copies of Arclight Phoenix so far? None. Yeah, maybe I do mill my opponent here. And then for now unsummon the forests to limit how much mana they'll have. And yeah, if they're playing cards like Cavalier of Thorns, we can also punish them for playing them. Although we are helping them for uh, Uro purposes. If they play Giant Hydroid Crisis, then upkeep mission briefing for Unsummon becomes more appealing, hoping to surveil into an island. Alright, Cavalier of Thorns, yeah. That's actually a drawback here, milling five cards. So our opponent's already halfway. Take four. And an escaped Uro. Sure. So upkeep full mission briefing. Hoping to surveil into another blue source. Milling the opponents. Steam vents is good. And 
then unsummon will be my weapon of choice. And what do I unsummon? Could be the Cavalier of Thorns. Now I won't be able to get back Phoenix to kill Nissa, but uh, I guess that's okay. So I'll just play defense with these Narcomibas. Opponent down to 14 cards in library. And while I could escape Ox, I think I just keep mission briefing since that guarantees two blue spells with uh, triple drown secrets. So that's another 12 cards milled right there. So we're getting very close. And then I guess I can just target a sweet oblivion to mill my opponent out. So they need to find a way to kill me right now. Or somehow get rid of my drowned secrets, I guess. Could have an agent of treachery. And yeah, go and place Cavalier. Down to seven cards. So now even just escaping a sweet oblivion would be enough. No need for the mission briefing. Behold, nature's true power. So Narcomibas are unassuming, but uh, they do a pretty good job here. Our opponent didn't have a blazing fast start, but they still landed a Nissa and got to keep it in play for multiple turns. Ooh. Chase Wheeler of Mysteries, wow. That's a curveball. Are they actually just gonna win the game with that now? That's highly unexpected. It's gonna be a Risen Reef. So yeah, we can't let our opponent untap with Jace. So I somehow need to figure out a way to kill Jace. Which we might be able to with Arclight Phoenix. Although it's going to be tough to cast three spells in the same turn. Not a Risen Reef. Alright, and Jace pluses, mills them for two, and they draw a card from an empty library. Wow, what a game. Definitely did not expect a Jace at the very end. But uh, yeah, otherwise we would have been able to mill them out, so on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Don't love this hand, don't have a ton of self-mill here to enable the graveyard. This is much better. And actually don't hate keeping Arclight Phoenix in hand, because if we find a radical idea we can discard it, and if it's at the bottom of our library we won't get access to it anymore. Might be the Ox. And then just hope to find a radical idea along the way. Secret Keeper's nice. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna opt or if I'm gonna hold it until after the secrets, because I do also need to hit my land drops in the meantime. But I might be able to wait. Of course, opt would also be a nice way to get back Phoenix on maybe turn 3, turn 4. Turn 3 is usually pretty ambitious, but turn 4 is realistic. Opponent on Sultai. I could just go Tapland Pass and then next turn go Opt Sweet Oblivion plus Secret Keeper. 
Also, then I won't have a way of discarding the Phoenix, whereas if I find Radical Idea here, I could maybe set up for Phoenix next turn. But then I also need to find another 1 mana spell is a problem. So this one's tough. I think I'm leaning towards just playing the Stabbed and Passing. And then try and make a big play next turn. I'm going to hold on to the Oblivion as long as possible, because if I mill over Radical Idea, I can jumpstart it and put this Phoenix in the graveyard. Ooh, Lazav. So this must be an Uro Lazav deck, trying to turn Lazav into an Uro so they don't have to pay the escape cost. There's a Tamyo in there too. Another Phoenix. All right. Um, yeah, I think it's go time. And then really hope to find a Radical Idea. Sinister Sabotage. That's unfortunate. It still counts as a spell cast for the Phoenix, but we don't get to mill four. So now what do I kind of reevaluate here? Maybe just cast a Sweet Oblivion and hold on to the Opts. Could be reasonable. I guess we'll start with Oblivion and see what's up. Right, got a free Narc Amoeba at least. Yeah, I don't think I bother casting the Opt at this point. Did not find any radical ideas, so... I guess we want to mill over an Ox of Agonas now. So we can escape it and ditch these finishes. Alright, there's a radical idea. Let's cast it main phase. If I draw lands, I could get a couple finishes back. On summon. Not quite what I had in mind. But it is good against the Doom Whisper. And we did mill over one Phoenix at least. Now I could still jump start radical idea discarding Phoenix, and if we draw an island, I get to unsummon and we kinda get to live the dream. And if I miss, then I can maybe still go for it next turn, getting back Triple Phoenix, if we mill over another Radical Idea. So it's worth a shot. Ooh, Mountain. That's rough. Yeah, I really needed blue mana here. Alright. Put on the gets to do a bunch of stuff with Doom Whisper until they maybe find an Uro. Maybe if they get overconfident and lose a bunch of life, we can punish them for it. But they're gonna stay at 14. Dispersal. Sure. It's an easy way for me to get my Phoenix in the graveyard, so kind of appreciate that. Alright, let's start with an Opt. If I draw an untap land, I can also get the Sweet Oblivion back with Escape, but another Opt will do. Alright, so, gonna get back a lot of birds. Gotta make sure we don't mill ourselves, but still only halfway, so we got pretty lucky with finding all the copies of Arclight Phoenix. But uh, yeah, we also kept that Phoenix in our opening hands, which was part of the game plan.
Opponent falls to 5. Next turn I can Mission Briefing back another Unsummon if needed. And yeah, opponent explodes. Sweet. That's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.